At the invitation of Lamborghini president and CEO Stefan Winkelmann, Supercars Exposed journeyed to the factory in Santa Gata Bolognese, which is a short drive from Bologna in Italy's Emilia Romagna region. Say that 10 times fast. The locals call this place Terra di Motori, meaning country of cars. Here in 1963, Ferruccio Lamborghini first began to build super sports cars featuring the corporate coat of arms, an aggressive fighting bull. First the rakish 350 GTV, then in 1967, the wildly exotic Mira seduced the tastes of car lovers, and many considered this the first modern supercar. Lamborghini's in-house style center is responsible for infusing the Lamborghini culture, Italian design, and spirit into state-of-the-art machines. The ultra-modern factory produces approximately 2,500 cars, with 40% of them destined for U.S. shores. Kind of bizarre walking through here and seeing all the components of the car just kind of laid out individually. It, it certainly seems like the car itself, when it's put together, is greater than the sum of all of these parts. Lamborghini sewing machine. You don't get those in the States. This is pretty subtle, isn't it? I think the color is very subtle, but this is called Cusitora, which is very close to the Italian word for stitching, and it goes with the very subtle colored cars. For all you guys that buy your Lamborghinis and they get all paranoid about rock chips, this may look like the ultimate bra, you know, to protect your car from rock chips and stuff like that. But no, this isn't the late 80s, so you can't put a bra on your Lamborghini, I'm sorry. This is actually to protect the paint job. It's a hand-done paint job, and the cars come into the assembly line already painted. So workers can't have watches, they can't have really anything on their person that could scratch the car, and this protects it even further. So this is not something you get to see every day. In fact, we're not allowed to look at this too closely. This is the heart of the beast. This is the 640 horsepower, six and a half liter V12 that's in the Murcielago Lamborghini. Of course, sequential gearbox. Uh, you can see just beautiful exhaust layout, unfortunately covered up by the heat shielding, which has been burned because this engine has already been tested as all of the V12s are before they go into the Murcielago. And of course, this ginormous cavity back here is the one-off custom muffler that makes the Lamborghini sound so sweet. With the factory tour behind me, I was ready to gear up, as they say. What does today's suave Lamborghini still wear? I guess when in Rome, one must dress the part. Perhaps it's the clothes not the car acting as a chick magnet. Thankfully, the Lamborghini picks up my slack in the style department. <laughs> 